Hello everyone, hello. Patching from scratch. I've got the Pittsburgh Lifeforms SV1 right here. The output from the uh, low pass out of the filter is going into my mixer. If I turn it up over here. There's a little bit of pulse wave modulation being applied by the onboard LFO. That's the filter. I have Synthrotech Sequence 8, one of its outputs going into this buffered mult. So, I mean, it has three outputs, but I want to make sure that uh, if I mult it, that they are going to be exactly the same. So I'm using just one of them. Let me connect that to the volts per octave. And nothing happened because all of the steps are set at zero. If I start... That'll do for now. And that is what a sequence sounds like. Just raw from the oscillator, and well, going through a filter. But let's say we want to break that off into notes. I will plug into the main output of the life forms. And let me take the clock out from sequence 8 and plug it into the VCA uh, the ADSR the envelope generator now that envelope is hardwired to the VCA and also to the filter control how much it affects the filter I can shorten the decay time I can lengthen the attack time adjust the release time of boring. What if I don't want that to fire on every beat? I'll plug the clock signal from sequence 8 into the Bustle Little Nerd, which is currently configured to play a bunch of different Euclidean patterns. The length of the patterns set on the the uh, the second page. There's a shift page on Little Nerd, so you have a second parameter, and that is not my phone ringing, so I'm not going to answer it. Now then, let me get a short cable and take one of these Euclidean patterns and connect that to my envelope. I've got it filling on every step. And 
these triggers are much shorter than the clock signal that was coming. But I can make up for it by lengthening the release time on my envelope. And now, adjust the fill density on my Euclidean pattern, and it's not firing on every note anymore. Form has another oscillator. Let's feed that other oscillator a copy of our volts per octave. I have it pre tuned. about an octave down from this. However, we don't want to listen to it constantly buzzing like that, so let's use another VCA. The Division 6 Morpheum is right up here. I will take the Morpheum output, connect that to my mixer. Quadrangle is sitting right here. We'll take the CV in and out from one of those envelopes. And I'll use another Euclidean pattern from the little nerd to trigger that. a bit. Needs filtering. Well, Lifeform's filter is already busy, so I'll use the dope for wasp up there. Taking the output from the wasp into the morpheum, and then I need to feed the output from this oscillator into the wasp. modulate that filter. I'll use this same LFO down here. Take the sine output, plug it into CV2. for CV2, which is why I chose that. I can increase the tempo. Thank you. 
pretty bare bones, but uh, it's a start. This took 10 minutes. So I'm going to wrap up here and perhaps uh, continue working on this patch in another episode. If anyone's interested, let me know in the comments if you want to see any more of this.